players and, as a result, cold conditions to see SA win by 16 points in what many considered a Clayton's match. There was no doubting the players considered it no less important, but the lack of promotion and presence downgraded what in the past had usually been a sellout encounter. Two weeks later, the AFL stars turned out as Victoria tackled the Sandgropers at the MCG. But again, the programming was criticised. An unusually late start kept many fans away on a cold Tuesday night and the match didn't reach any great heights as a contest, with Victoria dishing out a 67-point thrashing. The result did, however, leave traditional rivals South Australia and Victoria to fight out the Australian Championship. But what should have been a promoter's dream turned into an injury nightmare. Victoria couldn't consider no fewer than 12 of its original squad members, while SA had no Platten or McGuinness, along with others like Mitchell White, who felt too Western Australian to pull on an SA jumper. The Knives came out again to carve up the state of origin concept and selection criteria, but for those involved, there was never any doubting its importance, particularly when you're 17. It was funny, I was on, on the way home from school when I heard it, so um, no, it's a good, good opportunity. I'll just try my best. Out of all the states I've represented, I've always wanted to represent South Australia because it was one of my ambitions to play in the SANFL until, of course, I got approached by an AFL club. So. It's been a big ambition, so I'm looking forward to it. Wayne Carey played just seven reserves games in Adelaide before being snapped up by North Melbourne. But his passion for SA was inspiring. Half volley by Carey. He's had three good touches. Left foot kick a beauty. Without the likes of Ablett, Lowe and Lockett, though, the Vicks had a point to prove, and their obvious edge in height helped them to an early lead. SA hit back with a 10-goal second term, producing football that sometimes seems exclusively reserved for the rarefied atmosphere of state of origin. Darren Jarman on the left foot. Have a look at that for football. This is Bickley. Bickley in towards Kernahan again. Oh, he was held by the arm, but he was still too good. 70 metres from goal. Drop punt. Gets a bit of distance. Kernahan with a fly. Wind well played in the front spot to get back. Ops his handball. Left foot by Maynard. Goal. South Australia in front. By himself. Look, Harvey by yeah. himself, but he doesn't see him. Well, this is Tony Shaw at half forward. Onto the left foot. The chip pass. And he's found his Collingwood teammate, Maguire. Another chip pass. Here's a chance for the Vicks. He and the mark has been taken by time. Robert Harvey. They need this Victoria. He kicks. And he goals. McGarry Medless last year. Short to Kernahan. A bit fancy on a night like tonight. Didn't really half volley. It's still Kernahan. Will he kick his fourth drop punt? Gives it a go. It's there. It's it a is. goal. Short to Mitchell. The quick gives okay. That's good, Bays. The two Sydney players on the field combining, but smothered off the boot by Hines again. Russell to Bickley to Ops. Can South Australia rebound and make Victoria pay for it? Drop punt. Naley goes with Harvey. Sitting and waiting. Francis should kick a Rovers goal round the body and does. Jarman. Lambert, good hands, gave it to Lyon, Lyon, Steins with a height advantage, well played Leslie, but surely Salmon, left foot off the ground, his third goal. In charge tonight as the umpires, must be a big thrill for them, Hines went underneath Stein, Steins out to Salmon, good take, good handball, Rouge should kick the goal he does. Magnificent second term where they kicked ten goals, really set this crowd alight, there's Wanganin to the half, well done. passed away by Steins, this is Robert Scott from directly in front, good play by Scott. And I think this could be a goal. Kernahan with a chance here. The kick's right, hanging on Bays. Kernahan for his fifth goal. Goes for it and kicks it to Jarman. Goes for it. Bang. Drop punt. Running. Oh, oh. Boy, by Hickley. Oh, that's superb, isn't it? <laughs> All that was needed now was a thrilling finish. And even Hollywood doesn't write them this well. Tony Hall used his body beautifully on Hickley. Will it sit for him? He picks it up on the boundary line. Oh, look at this! Tony Hall, sensational goal. Kepler should know it. He's with him. He goes over, though, Kepler. Couch gets away from him. Steadies. Goes for goal. And might have kicked it. He has, I think. Adam Saliba goes to ground. Tries to get in a hamper. Wanganin weaves through the pack. Wayne Carey fires in the goal. It's a goal. Wayne Carey's kicked a great goal. SA's first Malcolm Blight Cup was a bitter pill for EJ to swallow. I don't think anybody watching would have been disappointed apart from Victorians. Uh, the, the, we've got beaten. Jesus, it's hard to cop it over here when you get beaten.
but at least it has inspired those in power to review the status of state of origin football. Well, we're looking at the fixture in Philly. Just kept battling uh, all night long, every single one of them. Uh, they did their state proud, they did you the supporters proud and uh, restored some pride back into South Australia. Holding decision, I'll have to come back to Ruse. No doubt about that, so the Vicks fight back. Rodney Maynard covers an incredible amount of ground. Now he's down in the back pocket. He was in the forward pocket earlier. Paul Ruse in towards Salmon. Nigel Smart at the back. Salmon at the front. And Salmon takes a good, strong grab. He really does run himself ragged. There he is, hands on the head, uh, Rodney Maynard. That was a good mark by Salmon. He had the run. Ruse putting it up high. Just too big. And as the game comes on, or goes on, just can't jump as high, and that's where height's an advantage. Well, he's kicked four, Sam, and I, I think Nigel Smart's actually done very well since he went to fullback. But this is a pressure kick, 45 degree angle. He's normally pretty accurate, the big fella. Paul Salmon will kick and sneaks it in for a goal, I would feel. Yes. So Victoria hit back five goals to Paul Salmon. 15-13 to 15-12. So South Australia by a point. Well, players from both teams really putting themselves in. They're not moving as quickly as what they did in the first quarter. It's understandable. The height of Salmon, an advantage. Four go five goals, three tonight. Salmon just gets that in. One point the difference. With plenty of time remaining in the final term, Stein's doing very well on the ball. Missed by Wanganin. Harvey charging towards the goal square. It's uh, getting a touch. Bickley, a chance for Mitchell. Leslie didn't quite get it to the boundary line. Bickley's got it there, runs out of play, and will be happy with that end result. Actually, that was good play by Robert Scott. Stein's got it out, but Scott used his body really well on Wanganin, which created a path, and Victoria took that ball out of the centre unimpeded. So Bickley stats the moment ago, 13 kicks. Salmon with a height advantage here against Smart. Smart at the back, quick kick away by Kapler. Into a space, this is an important ball to be won. Hall, Hinkley, Harvey all bounced off him. Missed by Hall, Harvey with a chance. Quick kick, only as far as Burke. Hall, slow handball, will it sit for Obst? Or courage by Obst, played by Nady, threw it away. Francis, South Australia won that one. Carey versus Lyon, oh, play Carey. <laughs> Brilliant mark. I thought Lyon had that. He's clever, isn't he, Kerry? Oh, Seen some good. one handers tonight, haven't we, boys? Some brilliant marking. It's a great game. And well, Ops is all right, too. He, he's involved in that heavy clash in the centre square. In the centre circle, he's up, he's all right. He's a tough customer. To kick one goal, Kerry. He's played very well, except for one little quiet patch. He's going to kick from 50 metres with what Breezer is behind him. A low drop punt, not quite there. Stein's in the front spot, punch through for a behind. And South Australia's lead is just two points in a thriller. Well, next goal, very important. And as we see, Mark Bays about to bring it back into play. Bays is a beautiful kick. He won't miss around with this one. Straight up the centre of the ground. The high flyers are there. Oh, almost a good mark. The line couldn't quite hang on to it. Goes in to get it again. Saliba is there. Shuffled out by Obst. Saliba again. Dives on it. Now tries to get it out. He can't. So it will be a bounce, and the South Australian crowd appreciating the work of Adam South Australia Saliba. got more numbers around the ball just at this moment, Peter. They're really starting to lift now. Well, it's halfway between centre wing and half forward for the South Aussies. Steins versus Hines. Harvey surrounded by South Australians. Well, you can Kerry see that and again. They're all on to one. Well, it's still at half forward. Two points the margin. South Australia lead. Anyone's game... And this is what the crowd came to see, a good, tight, hard contest. Actually, they'd want the South Aussies to win. They're pretty parochial here. Here's Naley, who was brilliant when he first came on. On to Bickley. Bickley to the holding, half forward holding. line. Was that a holding decision? Jarman. Oh, still Darren Jarman. Now he was held, Darren Jarman. He was playing for the free kick, and he eventually got it. It was against O'Donnell initially. O'Donnell had him. He was caught behind. Now he is a mercurial player, Darren Jarman. I wonder if he'll try and look for the short one or go for the long bomb. Well, no, he's going in the short one. And he's found his man. And it looks like Naley it is. 
Mark Nailey. Still that hold, uh, Peter. Well, Stein's dropped into it now. Mark Nailey will kick from 50. Really lifted the South Aussies when he came on. There he is, bringing it up in towards the goal square. The high flies are there. Kernahan, the big fly. How will the umpire see this? Eventually, it's forced over the line for behind. Kernahan very close to marking that ball. Stein's hurt himself too. He was underneath Kernahan. Well, as we look at the scoreboard, it's three points the margin. Ken Hinkley kicks it to himself, then onto the left boot. Brings it to the half back line. Scott Russell, all the markers drop there. Taken by Naley, a sweeping hand pass. Here's Maynard. Maynard, a high floating kick in towards the square. Kernahan. Yes, a top mark, Stephen Kernahan. He will kick for goal number six from 20 metres. Well, he is very strong overhead. There's Graham Corns looking on. And a vital kick coming up. And the worrying thing about Victoria is we're back at the centre of the ground. All those players going across to Maynard and Naley congratulating them. A host of players back from where that ball came from. Their enthusiasm starting to rise. Stephen Kernahan has kicked five. He is 15 metres out directly in front. A chance to put them nine points in front. And he does. Official attendance tonight, 32,984. Hines to go, South Australia leads by nine points, 11 and a half minutes remaining. Naley tried to snare it out of the centre, unable to do so. Good handball though by Obbs to Saliba, to half forward. Off the ground by O'Donnell. Robert Harvey's been excellent. Kick to the space, falling over. Well, Kapler didn't fall over, he got back to spoil uh, couch. Bradley missed it for a moment. Scott who's kicked three goals, now Barry Mitchell, Robert Harvey, caught by Saliba, threw it away in the end, McGuan run down, no free kick, Bickley well played, but gave it up to Scott, Scott from 70 metres, centering kick, Ruse the target, oh, great courage. match, yeah, oh, that was a good one. well, I was going to say, Kernahan's was a captain mark, mark at one end, well it was from the vice captain, that was a captain's mark at the other, oh that was a good mark, that was a needed mark, a much needed mark, look at Kern uh, Ruse, gee, that was a good mark, wasn't it? Kicked two goals since going to set a half forward at half time has been a very important player stabs it straight through for his third and a terrific goal a pressure goal a pressure mark that should lift those fellows out there if it doesn't they haven't got anything that flows through their brain uh, veins. <laughs> <laughs> we know exactly what you mean don <laughs> mcguan good tackle by couch scott again figuring and Ruse, terrific stuff. And a pressure kick. Three points of difference. Back to the centre. Steins versus Hines. Hines tried to knock it on. There's Mick McGuan racing in after it. But it's held to his chest to be another bounce by Peter Carey. Out of the centre, very, very important. Centre breaks last quarter. Victoria 5-2. Again, it was Steins. He knocks it on towards the half forward line. That was Wanganee in a flying kick. Now Mitchell. Now Lambert. Good play. Nathan Burke into half forward. It should be marked. And he is. And this is Robert Harvey. Now he wants to get on with another chip pass. All oh, loose man there at half forward. And the mark has been taken for Victoria. And that is by Mick McGuan. He really knows how to get on his own, McGuan. 19 kicks and four handballs. Nine marks, an excellent game from the Collingwood star. And a vital kick coming up. A chance to put Victoria three points in front. He's kick one. Mickey McGuan from directly in front. Oh, it's a high ball. It's floating. It floats through for a goal. Coming back strongly through McGuan. Leads by three points. South Australia out of the centre to half forward. And a free kick. Being paid to Hall against Hinkley. It's been one of the jewels of the night, hasn't it? Hall and Hinkley. Been a great jewel. I think Hinkley's probably won it. Oh, Hall's done pretty oh, well. Hall's too. been good. Oh, Hinkley's been great also. Said 11 and 4 from half forward and kicked two goals, but Hinkley's been brilliant as well. It's been a superb duel between two great ball players and Hall from 50 metres. High drop punt. Not quite there, I wouldn't think. Being hurled up and forced through for a behind. So the margin down to two points at 16-16 to 17-12. Two goals, two for Hall. One out of bounds on the full. 
And you still got to go straight down the center. Peter, Bays, Long. Low drop punt gets good distance. Carey back in the front spot. Shoals quick kick away. He's done pretty well. Ruse has done very well. Kapler and Couch there and Ruse. And it'll be a ball up in the center square. Victoria slightly in attack. They lead by two points in what's been a, a wonderful match tonight. Ruse 13 and 2 has really fought back after half time. Almost in the center of the ground. Steins beaten for it. There's Shoal caught. That's holding the ball. It was a terrific tackle. And that was by Darren Jarman. That really was a good, strong tackle. He should be kicking this long. The Hawthorne star. He is a beautiful kick as he brings it to the half forward line. Up they go. It's thumped the ground. Who will end up with the loose ball? For Scott Russell. Bradley back with the fly. Good play, Bradley. He's got it, Craig Bradley. Gets back onto the left foot. He'll center it for Kernahan. Kernahan. Oh, was he pushed off it? No. Play on calls the umpire and eventually it's forced through by Gary O'Donnell for a behind. So the Desperate score's down step. one point the margin. Oh. He's just getting a fist to it. Dare I say, but wouldn't a draw be a fitting result? 16, 17 to 17, 12. No premiership points at stake. Just the glory of the game, which has been tonight. Steins at centre half back. Victoria hanging on courageously. They've been magnificent. Harvey's kick out wide to Collins. He's got some space. A goal here would be critical. Couch running for him. He's a left footer. Kepler should know it. He's with him. He goes over though, Kepler. Couch gets away from him. Steadies. Goes for goal. And might have kicked it. He has, I think. Couch has kicked it for the big V. His second goal in this final term. And Victoria have got the edge. And well, that, that all started from that long kick out. A great mark by Steins under a lot of pressure. A quick handball across to Harvey, and Harvey in turn to Collins. Collins puts it out in front of Cow Cows. You really can't trap it. Then uses the body on Kepler. Kepler, a desperate effort. But what a kick from Paul Couch. You can see there a jubilant Couch. Back to the centre. The Victorians well have shown a lot of courage tonight. At various stages, South Australia have looked like running away with it. Sock it off the ground to Ops. Ops to the half forward line. It's all oh, Victoria. The mark is dropped down there by O'Donnell. Saliba, well done. Adam Saliba in the woods. Goal! And the youngsters kicked it. Well, Gary O'Donnell's holding his head. He can't believe it. Saliba kicks his first. Look at this. Point the margin. Victoria lead. What a game of football. Boy, they can turn it around. A mistake can is ever so costly in these games. And Saliba capitalising on that effort by Gary O'Donnell. There it goes. Oh, what a game. Turns 20 next week, Saliba. Little round-looking footballer, but can he play with some skills? A point, the difference. What a contest. Hines and Steins. Great moments coming up in the game now. Burke's quick kick away. Jarman, oh, played Burke, took it out of Jarman, and then running straight into a Kapler who held him up. Well, there'll be some heroics in the next four or five minutes, I'd imagine, like they've been all night. Well, everybody thought with all those stars out of both teams, it wouldn't be much of a game. Boy. Well, it's got to be one of the best ever State of Origin matches, and there have been some excellent ones. Harvey's quick handball to Burke. Six and a half minutes remaining. One point the difference, 119 to 120. And really, has there been a better advertisement at uh, State of Origin level than this one's been tonight for this game? Yes, and any doubters about State of Origin football, well, they watch this game tonight to see how keen these players are. Look at the harassing on Collins by Naley. And uh, that's what it's all about. Andy Collins at the base of the pack. Naley was appealing for the free kick. It's right in the centre. A point the margin. Victoria lead. And one simple mistake could be costly at this stage, as we saw with Gary O'Donnell. Now, Steins versus Hines. A loose ball. Robert Harvey weaves his way through the pack to the half forward line. Umpire called play on. Good umpiring too. Martin Leslie lies on it. Oh. He really didn't make a great attempt to get it out, but uh, the umpire's going to bounce it. It's a marvellous player, Robert Harvey, isn't he? Clever. Oh. McDermott and Shaw going for a moment ago. Both uh, out of the action at the moment in the pocket. Jarman's quick kick went nowhere. Trying to get through Russell, held up by Scholl and also McGuan. Just was stuck by Craig Lambert too to try and smother that off the boot. 
Just less than six minutes remaining. Tension almost unbearable here. Tap one by Salmon. Oh, Leslie had it taken off him by Mitchell. Desperate stuff. And again with Francis over the top. And Tony Shaw on the bottom. And Leslie. His fingernails will be well bitten down this evening. Here's Salmon again to go for it. Steins has dropped back into the centre. It could be an important moment here. Salmon goes and gets rid of Hines. Hines was in the front spot. And again, Victoria over the top. Play left. A point the margin. Victoria leads. Lambert. The quick kick. In towards full forward. Ruse. Now Nigel Smarty did that very, very well. He goes wide to Bickley. They're off and running. They've created the loose man. Bradley is there and Tony Hall. Hall races after it. Still in play. Yes, it is still in play as he shuffles it out to Bickley. In went Tony Francis. Tony Hall again. Swings under the left foot to Hawthorne half forward. Towards their half forward line. Adam Saliba goes to ground. Tries to get in a hamper. Wanganeen weaves through the pack. Wayne Carey fires in the goal. It's a goal! Wayne Carey's kicked a great goal. South Australia hit the front. They lead by five points. Well, that was a terrific play on that centre wing by Hall. He led Hickley in the race for the ball. And Hall kept it in. And by keeping it in, he gave South Australia a chance. And here they are capitalising on it. Wanganeen. And then there's a long bomb here from Carey. Oh, did it bring the crowd to its feet. What a terrific goal. Well, what a last quarter this has been after three brilliant first quarters. Harvey, Leslie took a chance. Jarman and Burke. Well played, Jarman. It comes off Carey to go for it again to the goal square. Kernahan at the back through his fingers are behind but it's a goal the difference one straight kick the difference at 18 18 to 18 12. three minutes remaining g carey's been important hasn't he jarman was clever then bays bangs it into the center maybe we'll get that draw done after all mcguan's kicked back ruse in the front spot oh. pushed into it takes the mark less than three minutes to go ruse with his three goals salmon the target smart's been good oh, salmon good, good, him. Oh, good in front I think, that, I think that Nigel Smart has been fantastic at fullback since being moved on to Salmon because he is such a class player, Smart, as he brings it in over the centre wing, as a matter of fact. It's almost a mark again to Kerry, it is. Oh, what an important player in this last term. If they get a goal here, I think it'll be shut the gate. Wayne Kerry. Kernahan's got two to beat. It's a loose ball. Adam Saliba will pick it up. He's very talented. He handballed it away. Oh, it's, let uh, the game go. That's a free kick, Don. He handballed it away and then was grabbed. It was clever play, Saliba. I thought he was great. He got the ball away when he was grabbed. Well, watch this well, on let's replay. Have a handball. Oh, that's a free. Oh. No, that's like the old rule when they used to bounce it, but they handball it now instead. Adam Saliba, well, he looks a little bit overweight, but he is certainly classy. He's 55 metres from goal. He should bang it in long to the square. There's the kick, a high one. The pack develops. The high flyers are there. Jimmy Steins thumps it over the line, but that'll probably suit South Australia. They lead by a goal. Gee, your point would have been handy, though, Peter. Would have given them the edge. Steins did a good job to keep it away from the points. The Vicks need a clear one here. A minute 30 remaining in a classic confrontation. Steins gets it down. Barry Mitchell's quick kick taken by Bickley. A quick kick south Australia needing a behind out on the full. Whoa. So the Vicks have got the time. They've got to set up a clean bit of play here. Some rhythm for Victoria. Some clean gets. Shaw, Steins couldn't take the mark. Still Steins. And is that out on the full? Well, poor Jimmy didn't play that very cleverly. He ran out of options, didn't he? Well, he really didn't, didn't have too much, too much to do there, Bruce. Options, he couldn't bring it back. He really was pinged against the line, wasn't he? Only alternative, really, to run out himself yeah. and uh, trouble now chance. for the Vicks. Well, Carey's kick from half forward, centering kick. Kernahan outnumbered as he's been all night. Oh, great play, Mark, by Tony Hall, who kicked one of the great goals in the game earlier in the quarter. And against Sydney, and against Brisbane Bears to win the game. Well, he, for did this, he did this, didn't he, in the last minutes? Up at Carrara. Here it is, Hall. You just can't afford to let him go. Look, Hinkley's behind. He's got to block him. 
It's kicked two, even a pointed winner for them, probably. Drop punt. He's hooked it as a behind, anticlimactic, but it should be enough. I don't think I've heard a bigger win it now because there's 12 seconds remaining and they lead by seven points. Bays gives it away down the centre. Francis, with this kick the goal, goes for it and goals, and that's it. That's it. That's the ball game. Siren sounds. Shaw and Francis together, the two Collingwood heroes. Nineteen nineteen to eighteen twelve, and in the end, it's a flattering margin. Well, full, full marks to both sides, isn't it, Bruce? A magnificent fight back by Victoria. What a game! Well, so many heroes out there tonight. You look at Kernahan and Carey and Hall on that uh, forward line for South Australia, and Francis. As John Casey's out there, and we might get an interview in a moment, and the Vicks were terrific too. They were fantastic the way they fought it out to the last minute. Here's Kernahan, and I think John Casey might have him now. Yes, thanks very much, Bruce. Uh, I've got uh, perhaps South Australia's best player here tonight. Stephen, your 300th game to win.